Steve Perry talking about the possibility of a tour. We'll talk about that and some more stuff coming right up. It's Gary Stuckey. Welcome back to another episode where we're talking about Steve Perry and Journey and all that good stuff. And Steve Perry's been mentioning on the uh, interviews on the radio about some music possibly after the uh, Traces album coming out October 5th, maybe into the future. He's already talking about some more music. So future's wide open there. Uh, but also the tour. Uh, he's hitting around at going on tour. I'm sure it'll be sometime next year. He said they're talking about it right now, but he wants to focus on his music right now, of course. Don't want to get too far ahead, you know. But anyway, I was thinking, would it be cool, you know, if he got a certain person to go on tour with him, you know, he could possibly get some up and coming singer, you know, to help them out and you know, have a cool little tour. It's probably not gonna be a big tour or a long tour, Maybe some smaller venues, something like that. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool, wouldn't it be nice if he got Lou Graham to go on tour with him? You know, Lou Graham was a singer of Foreigner for many years, had a lot of hits. You know, I Want to Know What Love Is, Waiting for a Girl Like You, Hot Blooded, you know the song. And then he had some solo albums, did very well with those albums, just like Steve. Similar backgrounds there. Uh... Both, you know, my favorite singers of all time, Lou Graham, Steve Perry. Uh, and uh, Lou had some personal tragedies, just like Steve. Been through a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, Steve had the scare with the cancer, of course. But uh, Lou had a big tumor. Well, it's not cancerous, but it was a big tumor in his brain. And, and God bless him. They got it all, and he's back singing. Uh, he had a brief stint back with uh, Foreigner for a little bit. But he's been doing solo stuff, some Christian music, totally awesome. And he had to retrain his voice. And he gained some weight, you know, but he's he's back. He sounds great. So go check out uh, Lou on YouTube. Had a book out a couple of years ago, uh, a biography, autobiography. So, and, you know, awesome, really awesome story there. So check that out. But he's doing some shows and uh, some smaller shows, but the guy sounds great. So, you know, some people talk about Steve Perry, you know, he don't sound the same. They'll say it about Lou. He's two of the best singers of all time. You know, if they just whistled, I'd go see him. I love these guys. I'm not a critique of, I don't expect somebody, you know, that's pushing 70 to sound like they did when they were 25. But they both sound great. And together, could you imagine going to a concert? And, you know, I might have to take out a loan to go to the concert if, if the, <laughs> the prices were high. But anyway, uh, but I'd go. I'd find a way to go. Or maybe Steve could uh, let me in free. Or you, Lou. Uh, but anyway, think about it. Steve Perry, Lou Graham, in concert. Just a thought. Promoters out there, people in charge, management. Hook that up for me. And remember, Gary Stuckey talked about it first. <laughs> but anyway, hey, it's Gary Stuckey. Don't stop believing everybody. God bless you.